Hey, it's time for a tropical weather update. We are just a couple of weeks away from the peak of the hurricane season. September, notoriously a busy month. As you look at Grand Cayman, mm. a couple of folks enjoying the resort, rightfully so. I think that uh, after looking at these cameras this week, I'm going to try to uh, work with Dr. Jim on being the Caribbean correspondent you know for what? the rest of the hurricane season. I, I think we both need to do it. You're I, right. It, it's got to be a tag team thing, so a so we'll tropical run the camera. weather. The tropical weather we'd like <laughs> to deal with is the nice tropical weather. We're going to talk about the other top of tropical weather right, right now. Right, right. Starting to get a little more active out there. A little bit. Kind of. A little bit. Two, yeah. two low chances, one that's way far away. I mean, a few tropical waves here, thousands of miles away. Dr. Jim and I are watching this one most closely uh, that is moving through the Caribbean Sea. Nothing is really that impressive to us. You know, first of all, that one way out there in the Atlantic has really no chance to come down the pike. It's going to take a right-hand turn if it does become anything. This is what's interesting is this comes into uh, the Caribbean. Again, it's not impressive. There's nothing that we look at it and say, you know what, this is something we got to really worry about, but we're going to watch it. Uh, and part of the problem, there's a couple of things that are working against it, which is good if we're trying to avoid mm -hmm. storms. Uh, we still got some African dust. Upper level winds are not really cooperating as well. And you kind of have to have all those ingredients. And we just don't see that happening here. Now we're looking at the water vapor imagery here. And you pulled this up and I'm glad that you did because notice all this area of the brown. That's not necessarily the dust, that's dry air. Right. And as we, we talk about this a lot, dry air and hurricanes do not mix. So at this point, I don't see anything that impressive with this. No, it's, it's limping along, if anything. This has been mm -hmm. a, a tropical wave limping its way across the Atlantic with uh, the aid of the trade winds just kind of blowing it across. There's a teeny tiny little circulation up here south of Puerto Rico, but it's uh, you know maybe a few lightning strikes and a couple of showers, but nothing out ahead of it that is uh, super moist. It's pretty dry out that and way. And this is actually pretty interesting. This time of year, we tend to see at least some thunderstorms you know, mm -hmm. popping yep. up here and there. Yep. And there really isn't a whole lot of activity going on at all. Not just, not only the fact that we're not looking at big tropical weather, we're really not seeing a lot of storms or, or even rainfall um, for that matter. Now this is, as we're looking at the wind forecast here, this is where it starts to get a little more interesting. So what time is this? this is Tuesday. Tuesday Notice this little curve right in through, through here. And this is what you were looking at earlier. I mm -hmm. think we were talking about this. Um, possibly the, the beginning signs of rotation, but it also could just be the natural curvature of the winds going around the coast. Yeah, definitely that, that N-shaped little trough, a tropical wave moving through the Western Caribbean. And we'll get back to that discussion in just a moment because, again, we watch that Caribbean Sea and the Gulf very closely. Yeah, anything mm. can happen. But as you said, with this, again, even if it's 30% chance of development way out to the ocean, uh, it doesn't seem to be any immediate threat to us here over the mainland. Well, and we also still have a very strong area of high pressure up here to the north. Uh, uh -huh. And it's more likely to curve in that direction anyway, if something were to form on this, on this backside of the system. Uh, I just don't really see anything like that happening at right. this point anyway. Right, right. So, um, you know, you may, as you scroll your social media, see a single image or two of this massive hurricane uh, <laughs> in the Gulf of Mexico slamming into some Gulf Coast state. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Use with caution, you know, get your reliable weather sources. Dr. Jim and I, hopefully oh. we're one of them. But we do want to sh at least show you September 1st on the American right. model just to see the trend of the activity. And, and what we're talking about is something that wouldn't even appear until about September 1st. And so this, there's nothing right. on the screen right now that has anything to do with what we're talking about with possibly seeing something develop here. Uh, and what happens is that an area of low pressure possibly forms, moves to the Gulf of Mexico, explodes into a, a big hurricane, and then makes landfall by about the fifth. But you have to also keep in mind, this part of the modeling is way far away. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen this several times already this season where the longer end of the uh, GFS model on this would indicate a storm and then it all disappears. Right. Uh, we right. don't really have anything to, to really signify that this is going to happen, but it just means but, that we need to yep. watch this area in case something were to start to develop. And overall, the model is uh, you know, more generous about the number of little low pressures. We've indicated by some X's and even a fourth one that Dr. Jim pointed out, possibly um, offshore of the Mid-Atlantic, just behind the banner there. So you could even you barely a see it right up there right. in the north. But the fact that it's, you know, it's getting a little bit more active, we have to kind of take it with a grain of salt, just like you mentioned, because it has been 
you know, indicating something down the road. Then you get down the road, nothing ends up happening. But it is, of course, September 1st by this time frame. Yeah, and we also, in fact, this is interesting. So we, obviously we've been a, bit, a little bit below average in our numbers, and we start to see the possibility of three storms at the same time. That, I think, is a possible solution with mm -hmm. all of this, but not necessarily where we're seeing any of these or the direction that they're going to go. So we do think that things will become active, or at least more active soon. An unbelievable stretch, though, because we're coming up on anniversaries, you know, Harvey, then you had Laura, Ida, and, and then eventually into September with huge right. name storms. right. 54 days uh, straight without a named storm. So I got together, whipped up the list of where we stand this year compared to last year. At this time, we have nine named storms. We've only had three. And then two years ago, we had 13 named storms mm -hmm. by this point. That was, of course, the record-breaking 30 names. But this is where it gets interesting. So right. in 2019 and 18, only four or five storms. To this I mean, point. Yeah. That's pretty close to where we are right now. And so people be, keep asking us, you know, is this such a, a below average year? What's going to happen? And, and honestly, it all tends to average out in the end. So to think of where we were today, uh, three years ago, 2019 had four named storms. We had another 14 after that. <laughs> One of those being Michael, Cat 5, Florida Panhandle, late season storm. Again, we always say it just takes one, and that's, uh, again, only one more storm that we would have right now. And, and that's also another reason why we don't necessarily worry about the numbers. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the numbers are something we look at. It's good to talk about. Uh, but in the end, like Michael, for example, it only mm -hmm. takes, you know, one storm to make it a bad year. All right, so we'll keep you, again, posted on that uh, more active pattern that the American model and some of the other models are hinting at as we get closer to September. Uh, but at least this has been a nice stretch, Dr. Jim, I got to admit. Danielle will be our Danielle. next storm, so we'll see when that happens. It right. will. Eventually, it will. That'll, that'll pop up eventually. Here. Hey, meteorologist Jackie Brown and myself will be right back with that uh, central regional forecast update.